after four years, I was so just run ragged, exhausted over it, heartbroken, soul crushed. My confidence had just been totally wiped out. You know, and confidence is everything. Yeah. As an athlete, even more so as an offensive lineman. I mean, if you're not, if you're coming to the line with any doubt in your heart, you're yeah. fucked. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. You know, so I made some phone calls. I talked to one of my teammates, Brad Meester. He was a 14 year veteran, played center for the Jags. Uh, I said to him, Brad, Brad, I think I'm fucking done, man. I don't think I can do this anymore. And he said to me, Eb, I think that every year. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I just come back one year at a time take it one day at a time and I find something that I love about this game. Find something that I love that I can hang my hat on and it's just one day at a time and then next thing I know I've gotten through another season. He's like, give it a shot somewhere else. Maybe you sign on somewhere else. You find your love for the game again and if not, great. You know that your time in football is over and so I really took that advice. I had a couple workouts. I flew out to Seattle. The Seahawks worked me out just about the next day, I flew to Chicago and the Bears were working me out. Went in for a workout. They wanted to sign me right away. And honestly, I'm getting the call from my agent. They're walking me up to the, the front office where I'm going to sign a contract for one season with the Bears. And I'm in tears because I'm just like, can I do this? Yeah. Do I have this? <clears throat> yeah. I was ready to be done, and now here's a team that wants me. I mean, at that time, I fucking needed the money, honestly. Mm, yeah. And I thought to myself, well, let's just do what Brad said and give it one day at a time. 